happening tonight. Something very exciting. Okay, this is not how it would look for us, but we may still be in a treat tonight if you're into the northern lights because a strong solar storm could make them visible in parts of the state, even maybe in the Bay Area, but the storm could also impact your power, TVs and radios. Ah, we don't care about that. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the outbursts of plasma are capable of disrupting satellites in orbit and power grids here on Earth. The agency issued a rare geometric uh, geomagnetic storm watch, the first one in nearly 20 years. So I was kidding about we don't care, but this is this would be a hugely rare event, Drew. Yeah, I mean, we've had these disruptions before in years past. Most recently, it happened in Sweden with one of these geomagnetic storms. Yeah. Uh, I will say those images you see on your screen, we talked about how those are from long exposure cameras, but a lot of people think that's exactly what it would look like to the train eye. <laughs> but for us, yeah. if we do see them on the northern horizon tonight, it uh -huh. would look like a faint green glow. Okay. But regardless, okay. it's the Not best Not overhead, chance. but on the horizon. On the horizon, look okay. to the northern sky, and that's where you'd likely see it. But True. it's the best chance we've had in years. We need clear skies for that, of course. And we will. <gasps> I know. The recipe the is really storm. coming together. Yeah. I think the best chance is early tomorrow morning. So if you do have one of those cameras, not a bad idea. Uh -huh. Set it out. Point it towards the northern horizon and see what you capture over the next couple of hours tonight. So here's a look at it. This is where the southern extent is visible, meaning on the horizon, if you looked north, you'd be able to see a green glow. And that's possible all the way down to southern California. But where we have a better shot is likely in the Pacific Northwest. So let's talk about viewing practices. Uh, the best chance to potentially catch these northern lights early tomorrow morning and we will have clear skies between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Saturday morning. You want to move away from the bright lights of the city, whether that's uh, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose. And if you have a long exposure camera, let it out. Let's see what you capture over a long period of time. Again, this three hour window is the best shot. But again, we will try and see if we can see a green glow on the northern horizon early tomorrow morning. I'm going to try and see if I can see it first thing Saturday.